giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. Our fifth ranked team is 5460 from Lapeer, Michigan in Lapeer Community High School. It's strike zone. An overall record of 47, 17, and 2. They were the winners of the Dow Division at the MSC. Um, starting off in the Milford District event in FIM. Strike, it's just not the same without Justin. I need him to say FIM. Strike zone would take home you the You could have asked me to do these, by the way, just saying. So What's that? So you could have asked me that to do some of these with you. No, I just missed him saying it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right. So Strike Zone would take on the finals medal at the Milford. Excuse the train that's running through my backyard. Um, would take on the finals medal at Milford. Um, following this at East Kentwood, they would rank first and take home another finals medal and the EI award. So double silver cling bling there for them in the chat, in the emotes. Um, at MSC, they would rank number one again. And with a 3.33 ranking score average, would take the division win in a hard fought eight matches. This Dow Alliance would beat the DTE Energy Alliance. Um, they'll lose to the Ford Alliance in the finals. Incredible ending to the season for Strike Zone, and they'll be on Archimedes uh, this weekend. So good luck to them. I was, I was going to say, I, I actually don't know terribly too much about Strike Zone, but I know they've been talked about quite a bit by our friends in Infimidation. So if you want to hear some more insight on that, uh, go check that out. Oh, was that Bedford Express uh, reference to... The yeah, the, the train, the 1023 thing. Yeah, that was the first thing. Is it pretty so it's like, oh, Bedford's mad they're not on the list. Oh, yeah. I mean, they could be. They're not, but they could be. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Nick whispering uh, in our ears a few, uh, few words. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so moving on to our fourth rank team. That's Team 2767. The second half of Strike Zone um, from Kalamazoo, Michigan. It's Strike Force. Uh, with a with an overall record of 44 and 12, they were the winners of the DCE Energy Foundation Division at MSC. So kind of crazy that Strike Force um, didn't get a blue banner at either of their district events um, or semi semifinals at St. Joe's and finals at East Kentwood, uh, but they saved the best for last, ranking third in the DTE Energy Division at MSC with a ranking score average of a 3.0. Even they would captain the number two alliance, and um, then after eight beat one. The 2767 Alliance would beat the number eight Alliance in the finals. Losing in three matches to the Dow Division, they would end up they would end regulation play, um, and then here they'll enter the Curie Field. Shocker! Um, I really just like this robot a lot. They have that swerve, they kind of have that that like swing intake that they have that they can um, uh, score um, on both sides there. So um, congratulations to Strike uh, Zone, or excuse me, Strike Force. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> on their fourth-ranked uh, spot here. Too many strikes. Yeah, I, was, I know they had, a, like, a play on words because they teamed up together um, at, I think it was uh, East Kentwood, I believe. They strike zone. No, strike, yeah, strike zone and strike force teamed up together, but they spelled strike with the strike for, or whatever. Forget it. Yeah. Yeah, we all know. I typed so, it in chat. So I believe strike zone has a suction now. Um, I don't remember if they did originally, but I'm pretty sure they have a section now. Um, so be curious to see how, how that works. I mean, I, 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 did I say strike zone? I don't know. So, strike but force. <laughs> uh, strike force. Now it's in my head too. So. I know. I'm sorry. Um, all right. So strike strike force. I think is a, is a fantastic team. Obviously, back to back world champions, uh, and really starting to come out of their shell uh, in their last event. So very cool stuff. Uh, I, I'm looking forward to seeing them. Uh, Kiri's going to just be. I mean, Kiri's so freaking nuts, man. Like crazy. I mean, I mean, this give you strike. Hold on, strike. <laughs> for, which one is it? Strike force. Strike force. Thank you. Uh, strike force. I uh, could very well win the division. They could be very well knocked on quarters. I mean, that's just how crazy Kiri is, right? Uh, and I think either one is uh, very possible uh, with that. So can't wait. Can't wait to see just how that uh, turns out. Mm -hmm. All right. So our third ring team is. 33 from Auburn Hills, Michigan and Notre Dame prep. It's the killer bees an overall record of 65 and 12. And they were the winners of the consumers energy division at MSC. So the killer bees have three district wins this year, Southfield centerline and Alpena number two, where they went 17 and one 17 and two and 16 and two. And they ranked first, first and second, but were invited to the number one Alliance at that one. They also picked up the double gold clean bling at centerline entering the consumers energy field at MSC. They ranked fourth, but would be selected number one overall um, again. They would take the division in seven matches and head to the divisional playoffs uh, where they would uh, be taken down by the Ford Alliance. Just an incredible robot this year. 
I really just love their design from their pickup that come that just kind of swings out front um, that delivers it to their arm, which can then rotate, and then their client there at the end. Just incredible machine from 33, um, and they will be on the. I didn't write it down. Archimedes. Archimedes. That's what I wanted to say. Archimedes Field this this year as well. So. Uh, congratulations and good luck to them. It is very possible that we uh, could see an all Michigan Alliance take Archimedes uh, this year. So uh, especially when you have, uh, I, was it 5460, I think it's in, in their 54, division. 5406, 910. Uh, well, 5406 oh, yeah, is Ontario, yeah. but... Yeah. Uh, but I think with 5460 oh, yeah. and 910, I, I mean, it is possible. I, I think 910 and I think those three teams will go before that could happen. But it is quite possible that we see something like that, which would be pretty cool, at least for the top three teams yeah. uh, for something like that. So yeah. um, and, you never know, right? Yeah. And we saw um, in Houston, we had the All California Alliance there. Mm -hmm. uh, so something similar could very, very much happen in yeah. as well. So um, as we say with Justin, all the drama is in the two spot. Um, Excuse me. And that being said, our second ranked team is 2056 <laughs> from Orchard Park, Ontario, Canada, and Orchard Park Secondary School. It's OP Robotics. They have an overall record of 52, 3, and 1. They were the finalists at the Ontario Provincial Championship. Uh, so, just really not much left to say about OP Robotics with a district win at Waterloo and a gold gold clean bling outing at McMaster. Um, they led the way in the technology field at the Ontario District Championship, seating first with an amazing ranking score average of 3.5. Uh, picking up 3683 and 4907, they would win the division and face science. Um, they're losing in two matches by an average of only like 10 ish points um, average. Uh, OP Robotics is uh, always one of the most robust robots in the field every year. They just, the way they build their robots, the way it looks, the way it handles on the field is just um, is so robust and so. Um, important this year as, you know, they're just attracting attention with defense um, and just so consistent through it. So we will see them with everybody else in Curie um, as well as 1241, 1114 and others. Um, so this will just be a really interesting dynamic um, as well, um, being that these three uh, with um, Team Dave, um, who I already forgot. Are they in uh, Curie as well? No, Team Dave is... Oh, boy. Um, so, yeah. Um, you're asking what division Carson. Davis and Davis yeah. and Carson. Carson. Yeah. yeah. So they're not in there, but I'm um, just the, the amount of matches. These, have, these three teams in particular, there's three Canada teams that played with and against each other. Uh, be interesting for sure. I'm, I'm curious, but uh, congratulations to 2056, man. Um, I just love the robot each, each and every year. And, uh, Look forward to seeing them this weekend. By the way, I just want to respond to the person who said we're sleeping on Wisconsin teams. I'm sorry, man. I'm from Wisconsin. We're not sleeping on them. Uh, <laughs> it's straight up. Wisconsin's not bad. Uh, there are some There are some good teams, uh, but not top 25 caliber, in my opinion. So, sorry, but that's that's my hot take on that, uh, being from it. So, um, I forgot I was going to mention something else, but I, well, got, I, got pa I got passionate about something there. So Yeah, and the, the reunited, the possible re- Reunition, re reunite, reuniting of 1114 and 2056, um, and maybe an A Alliance uh, 2.0. Um, we saw that back when with 1114, 2056, and 4334, uh, Alberta Tech Alliance, um, which we haven't talked about really recently, but um, maybe a 2.0 version coming up. You never know. All right, so that being said, our number one team. Through Detroit, top 25 is 1114. From St. Catharines, Ontario, Canada, and Governor Simcoe Secondary School, it's Symbotics. An overall record of 54 wins, one loss, one tie. And they were the winners of the Ontario Dis Provincial Championship. So Symbotics is back in their dominant fashion, taking two district wins in Humber College and Windsor-Essex Great Lakes um, district events. And in the science division, uh, they would rank first with a 3.33 ranking score average, winning this in six matches. Uh, they topped, uh, topping out at 122 unpenalized, they would take on the technology division. And it was only two matches that they needed to take the Ontario Provincial Championship title. They will be in the Curie division, as mentioned. Um, like, and like I just said, with their BFF 2056, so kind of leaving us all wondering if we'll see that alliance again. Um, but that climb... Um, they have their uh, the swinging like the swinging cly. Um, if if you watch like their sandstorm period and then um, in regular play as well, just their precision that they pick up hatches from like the human player zone is just like so delicate and and so like you see a lot of teams that just like slam into the wall. Not saying that they don't do that, but 
Um, they're just so smooth at what they do, especially in the sandstorm. It's just so precisely timed out that uh, that they picked them up. So 11-14 looks um, just dominant and um, awesome. I just can't wait to see them and Curie uh, as well as everybody else. Um, so two things I just want to comment in general. Typically, we don't talk about how close teams were uh, to each other uh, in the poll in regards to like votes and that sort of thing. But uh, two votes separated 2056 from 1114. Um, so it was extremely close. And, and I forgot what I was going to say. I remember what I was going to say before, Mike. Are you ready to give that number two sticker to Tyler uh, Holtzman? <laughs> yes. No, I'm not. I'm not. Maybe we'll just drop it off after picks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that might be preferable anyway. So. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, sincerely, the both both the Canadian teams there, uh, obviously, absolutely phenomenal performances. Ontario District Champs was just amazing. Uh, and to see those two teams uh, face off against each other, of course, everybody's hoping for the A Alliance to come back. Uh, I was I was a victim of the A Alliance, uh, being part of the number one alliance captain for that uh, in 2012. Uh, but uh, with that said, uh, it would be so cool to see them pair up once again. I'm sure they're excited. Obviously, if you watched. Uh, uh, Houston, Carthage was very excited with the very uh, loud uh, squeal. I don't know if you want to call that. So, uh, what he said, but it was quite funny. No, Ty was next to me. He's like, apparently there's roaches here. Yeah. <laughs> so, right. say, uh, so, yes. so very. A lot, very, of, a lot of people excited. Yeah. yeah. Uh, moon, moon, bye. Have a good day. Uh, you're not coming back. So, um, however, I just accidentally uh, unbanned because all of our mods just went crazy in a second. So, uh, to a bowl, our 2016 will unban you in just a second. Sorry about that. So, uh, but yeah, uh, very cool stuff. Sorry, I'm going to type out what it is because I just want to make sure we take care of that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, obviously, top 25, uh, you know, guys, it, we received a record number of votes. Uh, it's very uh, cool to see just like real more and more. This is never going to be perfect, obviously, but I actually think this is a pretty comprehensive list. Of course, teams can be in different spots. Of course, you're going to have an opinions, and your opinion's not right, and our opinion isn't necessarily right either, uh, nor are the 660 voters. Uh, but with that said, I thought this list overall was quite good, uh, and uh, very excited to see everybody compete in Houston. Yep, yep. Uh, so, all right, so a couple last things. I'll, I'll just start to wrap up here uh, as we go through. Uh, so let's do our uh, last giveaway uh, that we have. Uh, so for the Plane of Fusion Time of Flight sensors, uh, you have to type in. Uh, yeah, that is funny, by the way. So sorry. Sorry about that person we banned, but you are on ban now. So uh, so uh, let's do the Plane of uh, – sorry, Time of Flight sensor from PlaneWithFusion.com. Go check it out on there. Uh, the winner is going to be Pyro Orange Juice. I like that name. That's good. Uh, Pyro Orange Juice. So uh, once again, if you win, uh, this is something we'll be shipping. Uh, so please make sure you reach out to me uh, with uh, information on here uh in regards to how we can ship things to you and everybody i still get asked what do i need to send you guys we're shipping you something please send me information you know if you were to receive what do you put something. in amazon <laughs> yeah i was gonna say i know you might not receive you know correspondence through the mail typically but you do get stuff from amazon right so <laughs> uh so it's a heads up on that okay uh so with that said uh mike i just want to kind of wrap up with you anything you want to talk about uh coming uh, up at the troy championship so um, this is the first year that I'm going to both. I'm really excited to kind of be at one and then go to the other and then really just kind of have a direct comparison uh, of both. Um, like things like, you know, there's no fireworks at um, in Detroit, but like what are some other things that they do instead, you know? So it's little things like that that, that, I'm, that I'm looking forward to, but also just uh, the first year in a while that I've been able to see people I haven't seen in a long time um, with now with um, two champs. So uh excited to see it i think curry is going to be insane um just always going to be an exciting match to watch there so excited to kind of sit down and hopefully watch a few more matches uh this weekend uh, but also continue um just talking to teams meeting people and doing uh, some behind the bumpers I think there's a lot of great teams uh that we'd like to do interviews with so if we're in your pit or we're near you just come grab us and uh, we'd love to do that yeah, absolutely. And by the way, just to answer your question, this was Detroit only, guys. So if you didn't catch up to that, all the 25 teams are from Detroit. <laughs> Don't know what to tell you. Sorry. Uh, so a couple other uh, last things. Uh, as Mike mentioned, to uh, come uh, up with us, we do have, I'm just going to show these off once again. Uh, the first update's now ribbons. Uh, so we have uh, a decent amount of these. Uh, we do want to get some out to host. Uh, so come, Mike and I will have the stacks uh, upon stacks of these uh, that we'd love to hand out. We did run out in Houston uh, fairly quickly, so make sure you bump into us because there's a good chance we're going to run out. Obviously, I didn't order enough. Uh, so with that said, uh, a couple other things. Uh, we are going to do a uh, contest as well, too. So some of you might have saw me flashing and drinking the fun crew mug. Uh, this is a very limited edition that I happen to have an extra one of. 
Uh, it is a stoneware mug, by the way, which means it is super high quality, looks super badass and super cool. Uh, we're going to be giving away one of these, and all you have to do is uh, come find Mike and I, uh, take a selfie with us, tell us uh, uh, just uh, that you watch the show, that sort of thing, take a selfie with us, and tag us on any of our social media channels, so uh, preferably uh, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter uh, for those, and then we'll draw and we'll give one of these away. Um, hopefully, I'll give it away if you're at championships, uh, but if not, we'll ship it out to you, but it is, it is pretty sweet. It's a 16-ounce mug. Uh, most of our hosts are getting these. Any of our second-year plus hosts get one of these, uh, so first-year hosts, uh, you can enter too if you want. Otherwise, make sure you stick around because we'll get one next year so wait uh, Tyler, cool i missed stuff. the comp i missed the what was that i was i was too busy clipping your face through the handle of this um... <laughs> what do they have to do is what you're asking yeah yeah just come take a selfie uh with with us and take it on uh our social media gotcha so we get a lot of selfies so it's fun to do and let, let's just kind of make it into a fun little thing with that um fun. yeah and my propeller hat so I will be wearing it. It's pretty easy to hunt me down. I'm wearing, I'm a big dude wearing a propeller hat. So it's not that hard to find me. Because <laughs> not so many of those around. Yeah. And, and keep in mind, it is easier for you to find us than, uh, than us to find you. Uh, yeah. We are typically, Mike and I, uh, we did about 30 interviews in Houston. We're going to be doing a lot of them in Detroit, as Mike mentioned. Uh, we are typically either in the pits, especially Thursday and Friday. You'll find us in the pits most of the time uh, or down in the field. So if we're down in the field, we'll typically be like in that, the middle area observing. If you're in the stands, just come down and say hi to us uh, right there. You can, we can talk between the stands and the, and the floor. If you're on the floor, come talk to us as well, too. Love to have you for that. So thank you to everybody who's watched. Of course, you want more first for box in your you life. You have a giveaway, yeah. right? The time of flight. Should I do that? Uh, no, right. I give it away already. So. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> I don't Sorry know where you were at. So I was uh, too busy Boston chat. But. Yep. So real quick, we're just going to list off uh, everybody who has uh, stepped up to the plate as we wrap up the show uh, and provided uh, – uh, their support uh, over the last uh, couple of days as well, too. And I have to scroll a little bit, which is a good thing to have. Uh, and if I miss anybody, sometimes our bot doesn't always catch everybody. But Gray Fan Delta, 19 month support. Uh, B. Duras with uh, 17 total month support. Super 43399, two months of a sub. Hey, it's Leo, uh, eight months of support. Thank you so much. Rick Master Flex with a tier one sub. Miguel Romero uh, with 300 bits. Cameo Karate, 97 with a tier one sub. Simon Smash, excuse me, with a tier one sub. First Capital, R3D says, go 225 with 225 bits. New user account, two months of support. Mr. Clint Barnes uh, with the tier one sub. Thanks, buddy. Uh, C. McBride, 23 months of support. Uh, Escassian uh, with 27 months. Make sure you check out Libby, hey, on, Libby. Uh, by the way, on First TV uh, this weekend. Be really cool. Karthik will be on there uh, as well. Uh, Kate 72, tier one sub. Hacky Jim, 22 months of support. Thank you. He says, I survived Minute Maid 2019 AMA. Uh, Jacob Leo, 1239, tier one sub. Uh, Reed 48 with the tier one sub. Uh, Luigi 29371 with three months of support. Travis 48, good luck to you, buddy. Uh, eight months of support. Dirt Bikers, uh, 364 bits. RCAP 51, nine months. Miguel Romero with another 100 bits. First Cap R <coughs> with 10 more bits. Uh, uh, PNT BLL 1313 tier one sub. Uh, Record Plant with uh, a few biddies. And Phil McJoe 234 with the tier one sub. And by the way, if I miss anybody, sorry about that. Thank you so much for all your support. And we uh, love to have you on there. By the way, too, make sure you join our uh, Discord. Now over 1,700 people are in our Discord. And there's a link right there in chat. Um, come talk more about first uh, uh, about fun stuff going on. Typically, it's very uh, fun skewed, but we do talk about general FRC and FTC things as well uh, in separate chats. Uh, it is a pretty low-key chat room. That's the way we like to keep it. Uh, we don't let it get really too wild or just have tons of spam and stuff like that. Um, I will mention, uh, please make sure uh, you're uh, at Blue Alliance watching all the matches in the TBA fun chat. Love to have you on there. We do keep that chat pretty clean and cleaned up with a lot of mods. Uh, so if you're sick of seeing ridiculous amounts of spam that might be on uh, another channel, uh, come check us out. Uh, just, you know, don't be a dick in channel. I mean, that's that's really the, the thing I have to say is that we, we do get pretty strict, especially uh, during Einstein uh, for that stuff as well. Uh, so love to have that. By the way, uh, we do have uh, an app uh, thanks to uh, our friends on Ratchet Rockers. And man, I'm forgetting your name, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, but we do have an Alexa app. So if you go to Alexa and actually say open first updates now, uh, you can actually get stats uh, drawn from TBA, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so I, I don't know if any, anybody's tried it so far, but... Uh, it's pretty neat. So you can just, uh, uh, I'm going to actually just open up Alexa here since we're wrapping up. Uh, so if you, I'm just going to press the Alexa button. So we have that. And I just say, uh, open first updates now. Oh yeah, it's great. It's not working. So, uh, but with that said, uh, you can go ahead and do that on there. Uh, I try to do stuff on the fly and that's what happens. But on behalf of myself, uh, Mike and all of our other hosts, I couldn't make it tonight. And of course, our fantastic producer, Nick, I'd like to thank you for tuning in. Can't wait to see you all in Detroit. If you're going to be there, come say hi. Love to talk to you. Good luck to all teams there. And with that said, we'll see you next time on fun. Talk to you then. 
We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.